Jared here. I'm not sure how the Scott the Waz reference is going to combine the video games and food topic that I have today, so I actually parodied a different YouTuber. And keep in mind, this is very low budget and it requires zero editing skills. Hello, Internet! Welcome to Food Theory, where the jokes are as cheesy as the dishes themselves. I'm your host, Gerilyn. Alright, just give the intro. Hey folks, welcome to the Late Night Snack. I'm your host, Jared Lundy. Let's talk. I've always enjoyed a great video game, especially one from Nintendo. From Battle for Bikini Bottom, all the way to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. From the good times playing TMNT Battle Nexus with my brothers, all the way to the bad times where I impulsively bought Splatoon 2 after being stood up on a date at an AMC. Uh, she was a school teacher, so after 15 minutes I was legally allowed to leave. Still my most expensive date to date, but still top 5. 10 out of 10, we'll do it again. I've also been really interested in video games that try and connect you with real life activities. For instance, I've lost over 30 pounds by playing Pokemon Go, I continue to lose weight with Ring Fit Adventure, and Animal Crossing has taught me how to not only make friends, but to pay off my debts and invest in the stock market. Pretty crazy. The ones that have always interested me the most are the cooking video games. Just like this one, Cooking Mama Cook-Off. This one helps you create a dish inside the video game with the help of motion control. And we'll talk about this one in a later video. And for now, we're gonna talk about a game that I've wanted since the late 2000s, or as people like to call them, the ooze. And that is Personal Trainer Cooking for the Nintendo DS. 2008 me wanted this video game so badly. The only problem is I did not have a DS. Almost had a chance to because back in 2004 I saved enough money to either buy the Nintendo DS or this hunk of junk called the Video Now XP. I went with the Video Now XP because I was not really big on handhelds and the fact that you were able to watch your favorite Nicktoon shows on the go was a huge plus for me because nobody was ever going to do that. Wow, this phone will let me watch videos on the go. No, frick, I should have bought the DS. Long story short, this was probably the worst decision that I've ever made, but that's okay because I got the 3DS in the future and I have the personal trainers cooking. I bought it off of eBay and I'm gonna test one of the recipes out to see if they actually work. Stay tuned. All right, it has some cooking tips. Be careful when consuming raw meat, seafood, and eggs. Be mindful of food allergies. I bet this is some legal stuff that they have to say just to get out of the way. And as you can see, we are greeted by the DS chef. And there are a few options, right? It's a basic menu. I see there are recipes, cooking A to Z, shopping list. We're to cooking A to Z right now. And it looks like you can go to different categories. There's terms, ingredients, helpful tips, example videos. Now this one is pretty interesting. Uh, you're able to look at different example videos that show what you need to do, like a little demonstration. As you can see, I'm playing the one that is chopping parsley. I have to say, for a 2008 video, that is pretty good. That's some pretty good graphics right there. I'm gonna check out the whisking one too. I'm really liking the demonstrations that they have right here. All right, so let's check out the recipes and see what we have so far. As you can see, you're able to view all, go by ingredient, by requirements, by keyword search, and by country. And it looks like we have about 245 recipes. It's all by region. I think that's a pretty cool feature. I'm gonna check out Italy just to see. It's pretty cool. Each dish has a time, a calorie count, and notes if you want to take notes on it. I think that's a pretty cool feature. I was browsing this a little while ago. And one thing that stood out to me that we could try together is the tinamisu recipe. So I'm gonna go on that. 
Looks like you're able to write notes on your recipe. And, oh, you're able to draw on here. The different letters. I think that's pretty cool. I'm gonna leave that. No, some advertisement. There's a tip and advice section. Substitutions and variations. If you use instant coffee for this recipe, be sure to make it strong. You can use lady fingers instead of the cake. Okay, that, that's kind of funny. So, if you don't find the cake, you can substitute it for the original thing that is supposed to be in the tiramisu. I think that's kind of weird, and this is coming from the guy who puts half and half in his carbonara. But I want to follow this video game to its fullest, so I'm going to use the cake. Okay. Now we're going to view the ingredients. This says that you can actually make a shopping list out of this and carry your DS around with you at the store. I don't know if there was anybody who did this in 2008 and actually took this seriously, but that would be pretty funny to see. All right, first thing that they're having us do is just slicing the cake. So I'm going to do that right now. All right, this is done so we can say continue. Okay, we're gonna whisk them right now. Even when I don't say anything, the voice command sometimes either goes forward or backwards. Like, so that's a little weird. Not a fan of that. But so far, this is an okay experience. Feels like more of a nuisance so far. But next up, we're going to the stovetop. So we are doing this step and just waiting for this to boil a little bit, or at least steam. Okay, now it's saying to just whisk this over here until creamy. I'm gonna need one of these. This is getting very hot. It's gonna kill the heat because I think this is about ready. I'm gonna remove this from the ice water and it tells me that I should add in the mascarpone cheese. I, I literally could have had this done way less time if I just use the hand mixer like I usually do. For the people that actually did this in 2008, I applaud you. This is infuriating. Okay. <laughs> Finally. Man. Uh, couldn't you just suggest a hand mixer at Nintendo? <laughs> I have to say, they're detailed in some things and in other things they are just very basic on their terms. A little frustrating, but I get it. I just gotta grab the coffee. What was that? So I gotta grab the coffee, the uh, chef. Half the espresso, this is about a full cup of coffee on here. Okay. Who was their actual target audience with this? I'd okay. like to know. You know, I did not think that this much espresso could be soaked up by all this cake. And now this is supposed to go into the refrigerator for three hours. Start timing. Okay. Are you supposed to leave your DS like this for three hours? It says that you're able to play the Game & Watch game Chef by hitting the top left of the touchscreen that says Chef on the timer. Only problem is that this does not exist. Like, was that added via update? It shows that you're able to play it, but it says this option will only become available after certain conditions are met. What are those conditions? Hey, it's future Jared here from the future, but that sounds redundant. Just letting you know, you are able to unlock the Chef game from Game & Watch after you complete one recipe, which I did not do until then. And as you can see, it's the Game & Watch game. Would have been nice to have three hours ago. Alrighty, as you can see, the tinfoil took out some of the cream that was on here, but that's okay. We got the cocoa powder right here, and it's going to cover it all over. See, it's applauding me right now on the DS. Thank you. Not bad. Oh, and you're able to stamp that you made it by touching the icon right here. Now 
Now I can play the game and watch Chef. Oh my goodness. <laughs> As you can see, we've got the layers. Like I said, it's basically a dessert lasagna. And we are going to bite into it. Oh, wow. I, I did not expect it to taste as good as it was. This is really good. So there you have it. With a little help from personal trainer cooking, we were able to make this tea to me soup. Back to you, Jared. Thanks, Jared. You know, we've barely scratched the surface of this game. I really can't make a fair judgment on it right now, but we are going to definitely revisit this, especially now that we have the chef game from the Game & Watch series. So definitely stay tuned for that. We're also gonna be going into not only this game, but this game. Yeah, that's right, I have a copy. Well, that's all the time we have for tonight, folks. Until next time, I'm Jared Lundy. Good night. But hey, that's just a theory. A food theory. Thanks for watching.